I think he would have a hard time getting top talent away from WWE, AEW. It would have to be a whole new type of pro wrestling, sports entertainment type of business that none of us have seen before. And if anyone could do that, it would be him. Hello again, everybody, and a special happy Halloween. If uh, you see this before Halloween, if it's after Halloween, I certainly hope you got a lot of candy in your bucket. <laughs> Along with me this year, is with this program and each and every program we do, of course, is, uh, well, first of all, WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Teddy Long, and somebody, uh, I can't tell, it's uh, like white hair, uh, pale face. Oh, Halloween. I'm going topless. <laughs> you can see me. Got a bright light above me. Whatever hair I have left <laughs> is shining, but I'm in good company. Yes, well, you are. You think you know all the wrestling stories? There's more you haven't heard yet. Join us on Backstage Pass. And this is the Wrestling Time Machine. We hope everybody's <laughs> having a good day today. And look here, we got a ton of stuff to talk about Whoa, today. So I don't want to waste too much time here uh, with small talk. So let me talk about the news that broke just before we actually went to record today. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to read the report as I have it in my hands. So bear with me here. Uh, I'll try to edit as we go along here. Multiple sources with knowledge of the situation have confirmed that Vince McMahon has been in the process of setting up what has been described as a new entertainment hub company that would financially back, develop, and produce film and television productions. The belief among those were spoken to uh, is that these were no plan. There are no plans. I'm sorry for the company to launch anything similar to WWE, and that they would instead focus on fiction and nonfiction projects. PW Insider is also saying that several WWE alumni are already working with McMahon on this project, and that mm -hmm. includes. Brad Bloom, who was the WWE former chief operating officer, and also Kristen Prouty. And that's uh, pretty much the news that's breaking today. So, you know, we have said this from the get-go. If, if Vince McMahon is healthy, he's not going to sit on the sidelines, and this just proves it now that he has been working from the get-go to start something else. Bill, your thoughts yeah, when you yeah, heard the news? No, he, he's an entrepreneur. I mean, he, yes. he can't sit still. He cannot sit still. 24-7. He was like this when he was with WWE, and I had a feeling that he was going to come up with something not to do with pro wrestling, but he's an entertainment mogul. He really is. I mean, look at what he did, what he started with WWE. Look how he branched it out. Look how he got the guys into movies and stuff. And he's got a lot of contacts in the movie business, in the entertainment business, and uh First, he's got to get rid of all the legal issues. Before that, other than these few people that are on board with him already, allegedly, I don't know if anybody's going to want to work with him or for him. So because of the, the because of the situation that he you know, finds Grant himself in. Situation, sure, sure. Who knows what what people are going to think about this? Or are people in the entertainment industry contacts that he may want to contact say you know hey we welcome you or let's see what happens with your legal troubles first i would think that vince mcmahon is just the his name alone brings uh press brings publicity i'm not so sure that even, even though his name is kind of mud in some circles right now um i'm not sure that when it comes to entertainment uh, and producing something to get more viewers and to make money, I'm not so sure people. No, will I, I, find think, I think it's going to be neg. I think it's going to be negative because too many people in the world know about what has been going on with him with the alleged. Uh, uh, but but again, that's the key word too, though, Bill. It's alleged. We still, at this point, we have not heard you know anybody say he's guilty. We know what the you know we know what the uh, charges are. You know the alleged you know abuse and stuff like that, but. Right now, he's still innocent until proven guilty. But I still think that entertainment Hollywood is one of those places where it doesn't matter. I just don't think in that in that world it really matters. Teddy, what were your thoughts uh, hearing that he's got a new company uh, starting up? 
Well, I uh, <clears throat> first uh, congratulations to him. Uh, you know, he's a man that I would just consider as a gangster. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna stop him. You well, know what I mean? Yeah, you know, and uh, uh, and this has a lot to prove. So, uh, and he's gonna let people know that. So, uh, I'm, I'm kind of like Bill and you guys. You know, uh, he's not hadn't been he's not guilty yet of these charges. So. I think him maybe getting something started now, or maybe rumors getting out right now, talking about something, and maybe by the time uh, he goes to court or whatever, and the outcome of whatever this is going to be, that will determine, you know, his future. Yeah, and I, I think based on what we know so far about Vince McMahon, wait, there's probably a really good chance that, like Bill says, he'll never get any work. But, uh, you know, it could well, end no, up... No, no, I didn't out, say so. he'll never get any work. I yeah, just said but, I think people are going to be... Uh, they're going to be very, I don't know, iffy whether Une they want to work with him or not. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, uh, I've thought this from the beginning, uh, that there was always going to be a chance where Vince could get involved in professional wrestling again or sports entertainment. Do you think that that could happen, Bill, Teddy, either one? Well, I think if there's – I think he would have a hard time getting – top talent away from WWE, AEW. It would have to be a whole new type of pro wrestling, sports entertainment type of business that none of us have seen before. And if anyone could do that, it would be him. Teddy, well, what do you think? Is there, you think there might be a chance that we could uh, see him get back involved in professional wrestling? Well, you just never know. You know, that's Vince's life. Uh, professional wrestling, you know, and uh, I, I can witness to that. I mean, uh, uh, one time we were on the plane and they, he talked about wrestling from the time we took off until the time we landed. Yeah. And uh, so that's his life. So uh, I wouldn't doubt that, not at all, that he might not show back up, you know, with something going. But uh, <clears throat> here's the other thing, too, you know, like I said, with all these charges and stuff, but we got to look at this, too, you know, the same thing happened with Bill Cosby, uh, Henry Weinstein, and look, they Bill Cosby even got convicted, and then they turned it around and found him not guilty. Yeah, so I, yeah. I think something like that, if I'm saying that right, so... Yeah, but then the point Partially. being that we just don't know until we get into the court of law and everything's laid out, and then we find out more about wow. where everything comes from. Wow. Vince McMahon starts to promote the comeback of Bill Cosby. <laughs> All right, we were talking about uh, Vince. Let's keep it up for a little bit longer here. This is going to be a little bit of a talk here, so guys, y'all can sit back and relax for a second. An all-new round of allegations against Vince McMahon have come to light. Five individuals named a uh, as John Doe, one through five, filed a lawsuit against Vince McMahon, Linda McMahon, the WWE parent company, TK Group, uh, TKO Group Holdings, Inc., alleging that the parties knew of systemic grooming and sexual abuse of teenage boys hired by the company as ring boys in the 1980s and the 90s to run errands and to set up the arena prior to the events. The suit names uh, the former ring announcer and ring chief Melvin Phillips Jr. as the primary perpetrator targeting boys from broken homes to hire, groom, and sexually abuse while in position of power within the company. The suit also alleges that Vince and Linda McMahon, as well as other people inside WWE, were aware of the abuse. It also states that the plaintiffs were not aware of the McMahons having any knowledge of the abuse until the pending lawsuit against Vince from Janelle Grant. There's also some heat on WWE and TKO for not speaking out more. While it looks like Vince McMahon was the nexus of these claims, some feel it's unacceptable that people in positions of power who are directly related to McMahon or who were employed by the company during that time period that many of the allegations occurred, these people have remained free of any questions or scrutiny. That's that's the uh, update on that. That's a lot to kind of digest. But the part that I kind of gathered at the very end really was that uh, Vince and Linda McMahon during his Netflix uh, uh, documentary and during this lawsuit with uh, Janelle Grant, obviously, is disclosed that they were aware of the abuse, which before they were not. Bill, do you know anything more about this story? No, I don't. I, you know, I, I knew Mel Phillips. 
Um, I knew a lot of the Ring Boys, but I never saw or knew anything that was going on back there. No. Teddy, you've been in wrestling business for quite some time. Were there ever rumors? Did you ever hear anything about any abuse going on? I, I, I've heard stories after the fact, but during the time that you're working, did you ever hear stories like that taking place? No, I never did hear any, anything like that. I went there in uh, 1998. Yeah, so. You know, I was there during that alleged time, but if anything like that was going on, you didn't it see was it. well concealed. And I don't think it was uh, something, I, I'm, I'm just, hypothetically, I don't think it was like, you know, the McMahons are trying to run a show here. I don't think that was a main thing at all on their radar was probably well you know what's he doing i i don't know i can't be bothered with this maybe that's what it was i don't know i don't know what happened if anything happened but 